What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610, and today we have our Noble Knight deck profile. Of course, the new cards came out in the Noble Knight box, so I wanted to update this, and of course we even got this nice new playmat. So, also, before we uh, get started, I am doing a playthrough on my Pokemon channel of Alpha Sapphire, so be sure to check it out. There'll be a link in the description to the whole playlist where I'm going through, and we already have, I think, 10 episodes on that, so be sure to check that out. Again, link in the description in the comments or something, too. Let's get started with the deck profile. First off, we have three Noble Knight Medrot. Goes out saying, the best Noble Knight, helps out, of course, and uh, sets up all your plays, so you gotta run through those. After that, two Noble Knight Boars. Boars, I think we can go down to two now instead of three because of Bedwar, which is one of the newer cards. So I'm trying out at two, and I've had some pretty good results with that. And, of course, here you go, two Noble Knight Bedwar. This is one of the newer ones, and uh, it's really coming handy. I think that's one of the reasons that we can go with uh, two of Boars, and it helps search and everything, too, for what you need for the Noble Arms. It makes it a lot easier to get them, so I think it's some good support for them. I'm glad they made a, a card that can help out with that. And then, uh, kind of an odd card, I know, we have two Noble Knight Brothers. I say odd because it wasn't in the box. I, I don't understand why it wasn't added in there. But it, they are good cards. Uh, they really come in handy, especially since I'm going for more of the XC build instead of the Synchro. So I can easily get more monsters in the field and go for the XC monsters. So Brothers is actually a good card. I don't understand why it wasn't in the box. Seems weird. Looks like the odd one out, too, especially with the new rarity. After that, we have Noble Knight Driston, which helps get rid of monsters and stuff, get them out of your way. Gualchevad. Ector, which uh, is a lot better with the new support. Gwain, again, we're kind of going with the XC builds. So we want to swarm the field and everything, so it doesn't hurt to have a monster that can jump to the field easily. Another one of the newer cards, we have three Merlin. Merlin helps out a lot with the deck, has like searching ability, also can help go for XCs and synchros. Again, we're not going to be using the synchro ability, but it's there for builds that want to use that. So it's a great new addition to them. Looks awesome, too. Then, for our last monsters, we have two Gwynefar, Queen of Noble Arms. It's basically like the other Noble Arms cards. you got to have two of these, though. This is pretty much a must, a staple for any Noble Knight build, and uh, helps out a lot. I mean, they're easy to get equipped to your uh, Noble Knights. After that, for our Noble Arms, we have uh, two uh, Noble Arms Excalibur. Excalibur, I think, is the best of the Noble Arms. Gwynefar's close, probably being the best. I mean, th those two you could probably debate back and forth on, but this one uh, helps out a lot because you can protect yourself from effects. And then also, it's kind of like a rank-up magic card, so I really like it, and it uh, helps out a lot, so I recommend it three. Then after that, for the other Noble Arms, pretty much running one of each, we have Caliburn, our Feudator, then uh, Destiny. Using one of each of those, Galatin. And then after that, we have Noble Arms of the Round Table. This is the field spell for them. I'm only using one of them. Two can be alright as well, but I kind of like it at one better. So it's an alright card with a newer support again, but uh, yeah, I still wish it was a little bit better. Then uh, with the other, the last, I guess, of the new support that came out is Last Chapter of the Noble Knights. This card helps out a lot. Again, it helps you get a Noble Knight on the field, helps you equip a Noble Arms to it and everything. Uh, it's a great card, and I really recommend at least running two of these. It helps out a lot, and uh, yeah, pretty much all the new support that came out is uh, pretty good, so... Then uh, for our other support cards, we have uh, three Reinforcement Army, so basically what Noble Knight do you need, you're able to get it with these uh, three cards. Then our three Mystical Space Typhoons, just get rid of uh, Spells and Traps. Foolish Burial, send Gwyn to the Graveyard or some of your other Noble Knights and get what you need like that to set up your plays. Two Forbidden Lance. Forbidden Lance is almost like another Noble Arms in a way to me because it seems like I'm always using it with uh, Noble Knights and pretty much every build. Uh, it really is coming in handy though. It's another way to protect your monsters and all too, which you're going to want to do with your Noble Knights, especially since you're equipping so much to them. You want to be invulnerable and stuff, and especially for your bigger monsters. So this just adds to that and helps protect them. And then for our only three traps, we have three traps done. I'm trying these out. I was going with Decree at first, and then I had people tell me to try out traps done. I've actually liked my results with traps done a little bit better. Decree can get destroyed fairly easily, and traps done kind of stays, you know, on that, and it's a, it's a little bit better in a lot of circumstances. So, you know, if you want to try going with Decree instead of traps done, you can, but I'm kind of liking my results with a traps done better. So, yeah, that's what I kind of, I think I'll recommend that more than Decree, but try out both. See what works for you. Now going with the extra deck, we have uh, two Artorgus King of the Noble Knights. A uh, great card, you're going to want to run two of them because it's going to be easy to bring out, especially in this build. Move those over to the side, there we go. Two of uh, Sacred Noble Knight King Artorgus. again, same thing. You're going to want to have two of these, easy to bring out and everything, and then just equip everything to him. Then for more of the, uh, the staple, I guess, extra deck cards, we have two Castell. Great card, goes without saying, pretty much a staple at two, but you got to at least have one. Gaga Cowboy, 
Heroic Champion Excalibur. You gotta have this with anything that involves warriors that are level 4, because it's so easy to bring out in 4,000 attack. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Then number 101, the Lawful Chain, because uh, it's like another Foolish Burial and everything too, so you can set up other plays with that. Evil Storm Exciton Knight. Star Liege Paladynamo, again with the, uh, it's kind of like with Excalibur, since now though we have uh, Light Monsters in this uh, deck, uh, you want to go ahead and use this. It's an uh, easy card to bring out, great effects and everything too, so really recommend it. Of course, anything that can, you know, that has Light Monsters at level 4, yeah, you're going to want to use that. Number 103, Ragnar Zero, Abyss Dweller, and number 82, Heartland Draco. Since we have uh, spell cards going to be face up on the field, this card you can use this effect fairly easily. So it really comes in handy and works well with Noble Knights. And yeah, that's the deck profile. I hope you guys have enjoyed just kind of quickly going through it for you. Uh, other than that, though, if you guys have any you know, constructive criticism on things, you know, know if, if you're also testing out Noble Knights and you're noticing some things working better for you or whatever, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear it, you know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.